Hi and welcome to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If it's your first time, stick around because today we're working our way through our to-do list. Hi, welcome back. Last time we were away, we were up um, Kildawater. Whilst we were there, it was the first time that we'd used the van for the stopping over for the night, and we had a few little teething issues that we needed to sort. Obviously, it was the first time that we'd been in the van, um, and there was just a couple of little things that was a little bit niggly that we needed to change. So we ended up, we came up with a to-do list. So we're going to be checking these off today, make sure we've got everything sorted. So one of the first things on the to-do list, if you actually saw the video when we were at Kielder, you'll know that during the cook and the steak episode, we had some extra large tea towels that were more like dining cloths. They have now been cut in half and hemmed and seamed and now a normal size tea towel. So spot on obviously another thing with the tea towel was having somewhere to put them we've now got this little handy gadget nice and cheap and holds the tea towel in place so that's ideal for us um, one of the other things that uh, needed sorting out was um, just checking on me on my list there was order another sleeping bag for the fat block so he can keep warm well we've done that I've now got another sleeping bag so I'm now going to join two together and have a nice big cosy sleeping bag that I can fit in and can stay nice and warm. One of the other different issues was that we did actually have, uh, we've got a portable toilet for emergencies and we did actually have um, a small pop-up toilet tent. So the plan was with the toilet tent, this would just sit behind the vehicle if we're getting a park up and then we can nip out and use it whenever. Um, unfortunately, we did pop up the toilet tent found out we didn't have 10 pegs with it so I tried to put it down literally took about 20 minutes and was an absolute nightmare to the point where I've just we've been the toilet tent so the, the plan that we're doing now is we're going back to our original design which was to have the toilet inside the vehicle um, when I was actually planning the layout um, obviously we've got a u-shaped layout so when I was planning the layout I actually did incorporate the space for the toilet which I'll show you now. So when I designed the van, our toilet is actually stored in this area here. So let me quickly just throw that back, pull this out, and the toilet's in there, making it nice and easy and a little bit more personal. So fantastic on that one. So everything's just back the way it should be. And then when you're all done and dusted, that then just pushes back into place, nice and tidy. So just checking on here, um, one of the other things that ironically we actually completely forgot about was because we have four dogs, we actually have quite a few leads and when we were away it was a bit of a pain not having anywhere to actually put them or hang them. So made a quick uh, couple of changes and we're getting some of these which is little magnets with a hook on. So I think we've got a set of four for about nine pound. These are the strong ones. So they just clip up onto there and then we can hang the dog leads, which is perfect. We know exactly where they are, they're right next to the door. Problem solved. Now, the next problem that we actually had, um, which had gone unnoticed from my side, um, was actually when we bought this hob we needed to make a change to the jets that came with the hob. Um, I was completely unaware of this. Being a fella, didn't actually read the instructions. Um, but there was a couple of comments from uh, some very concerned <laughs> uh, viewers, which is fantastic. Keep your comments rolling in. Um, but the advice was to change the jets in there. Now, I had to hunt high and low, so I couldn't remember saying the jets. But what had actually happened was, while I was cooking the steak, which is another controversial one, we'll come back to that in another episode. Um, when I was actually cooking the steak and I was trying to light the gas, 
we had big yellow flames that are then had to turn down. So the canide gas fitters out there um, raised their concern. So now these are changed. So let's have a look what that's like. So, no more yellow flames and no more trying to burn the back of the seat. So now that we've got nice, nice blue flames, it's a bit more under control. Um, big thanks to Heather and Chris and George and Jen for your concerns about safety and point is in the right direction. So one of the other problems that we came across is because we bought this van second hand, um, this window is a nightmare and it, it seems to be a common problem trying to get the window open. Um, now ours is really tight um, and it normally takes somebody on the outside and somebody on the inside to try and get it open. Um, now obviously with my MS I've got weakness down my whole right side so I really struggle to actually push the catch down and apply the force needed to get it open. But I've now found a little technique that works. So I'll show you that one. So the technique that I've came up with is get a bit of strapping. This is just a handle off a bag for life. And then I'll put that over, push that down and then I can then open the window. So it's still a little bit of a struggle, but it means one person can do it and don't need to go back outside. So one of the other issues that we had was the dog's sleeping arrangement for the small dogs. Now, at home, this, um, all three of the small dogs sleep in a small cage because they all like to cuddle up and lie on top of each other. So when we were away, we just brought the normal cage that we have for them which was um, quite a big one. So we've now changed that so we can fit it in better. Now the idea is that fold these two armrests down and the new cage now sits on here. And that works a treat now. Um, it does actually sit nice and tight and nice and comfortable on both armrests and I can adjust the armrests up and down so I can level the cage off when we're actually on site. So guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, just putting in a few bits and pieces right. Um, join us on the next one. We're away this weekend. Going to keep it a little bit of a secret, um, but we should have an update coming out on Sunday. All the good stuff, like, subscribe, Leave us a comment, we will reply to any comments that we get and thanks again for watching. So till the next time.